to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 23 from the International um, IGCSE Cambridge 0580 syllabus from May, June 2020. This is paper two, variant two, paper two, two. And this is question number 23. And this question is all about inequalities and regions. So you have this grid here, and they've told us by drawing suitable lines and, shade, and shading unwanted regions, and shading unwanted regions, they've to specifically told us to do that, um, find the region R where X is greater than or equal to 2, Y is greater than or equal to X, and 2X plus Y is less than or equal to 8. So we have these regions that we have to show, but these regions um, you know, they are defined by some lines which separate one, you know, part from the other. So x is greater than 2. There's a boundary between where x is greater than 2 and where x is less than 2, and that is the line x equals 2. So we've got to draw the line x equals 2. And also, we've got to draw the line y equals x. And we've got to draw the line 2x plus y equals 8. Those are the boundaries between you know, which separates or, make, you know, uh, the border between the region that we're looking for. So now, first of all, the, the line x equals 2. Well, that's pretty simple. That's a, um, a straight vertical line going through 2 on the x-axis. So every point on the line where x equals 2, the x-coordinate is 2. So any line that says x equals something, okay, is a vertical line. Even the y-axis is x equals 0. And the, and the x-axis is y equals 0, okay? So when it says x equals a constant, like here, this is x equals 2. And all of these lines have got these uh, inequalities with the equal signs. So they're all going to be solid line. None of them are going to be dotted. If, if it said, for example, x is greater than 2, then I would draw this as a dotted line. But as it is equal, all of these three lines have equals. And none of them just has greater than or less than without the equals. Therefore, we're going to draw them solid. Now, y equals x. Now, that's a line where the y value and the x value is always the same. So when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. When x is 8, y is 8. So it's basically going to be a diagonal line like this going through from there up to there. You can say it's an easy way to draw it. That's the line y equals x. You could draw it also by saying, okay, y equals x, y equals mx plus c, so you have the gradient is equal to 1 and the y-intercept is equal to 0, so it goes through the y-intercept 0, and for every 1 it goes up, it goes 1 to the right, so it's, it goes through 1, 1, or so on. It's fine, you can think of it like that. Now, 2x plus y equals 8. You can think about this in, in a couple of ways to draw it. I think the easiest way when it's the x and y are both on the same side um, of the equation is to use what I call the cover-up method, like you replace x with 0, it's like you're covering up the x term. When you replace x with 0, you end up with y equals 8. Okay, so that's the point 0, 8, um, which is up here. And when you replace the y with 0, it's like you're covering up the y. When y equals 0, you have 2x equals 8, so x equals 4. So that's the point 4, 0, which is over here. So this is the line. It goes through 0, 8 and 4, 0. Okay, so that's the line. You could also think about this if you want to rearrange it as y equals 8 minus 2x, or you can say minus 2x plus 8. So you can say this is the y-intercept, and the gradient is negative 2. So for every 2 it goes down, it goes across 1. You can think of it like that if you want to, um, as you wish. So this is the line, 2x plus y equals 8. So we've drawn the three lines. Okay, now it says shade the unwanted regions. So we have the regions. I'm just going to get rid of some of these now. I'll move these to that side. Those are what we drew. So the regions we want to um, show are x is greater than or equal to 2. And y is greater than or equal to x. And 2x plus y is less, is, is less than or equal to 8. All right, less than, yes, okay. And 2x plus y is less than or equal to 8. So we've got to um, shade the unwanted regions. So when x is greater than or equal to 2, okay, let me just choose a color like this. 
make it thin. All right, so x is greater than or equal to 2. So that means the region that we require is where all the x values which are greater than 2, which are these. Now, that's the required region. We want to shade the unwanted regions, which means the regions when x is less than 2. So I'm going to shade this side of it so that I'm shading the part that we don't want. And then we got y is greater than or equal to x. So when you have a slanted line, when it says greater than, okay, um, in most cases what it means is above. Okay, in most cases what it means is above. Okay, where y is greater than x. All right, now what you can do is, if you want to, you can choose a point. All right, it has to be a point that's not on the line. Okay, so for example, let's choose the point, this point over here, 4, 6. If I choose this point, 4, 6, and I want to test to see what this does to this inequality, well, this is when y is equal to when y is equal to six, x is equal to four. So you have six on this side, four in this side, and you can see that that makes inequality true. The left is greater than the right, so that means this point and all the points which are on the same side of it satisfy the inequality. So y is greater than x is the part above the line. All right. So as we mentioned, greater than means above. So the, the part that we want is above the line. That's the part that's required. But what we're going to do is we're going to shade the region that is below the line. We're going to shade the region that is below the line. Okay. So because we want to leave the required region unshaded. So I'm going to shade what's below the line now. Okay. So this is the region according to the line y equals x. Okay, so we're just shading one, we're looking at one thing at a time. I'm not looking at the whole thing at once. I'm looking at one line at a time. Okay, so we looked at this line, looked at this line now. All right, so that's the region above that line. And then it says 2x plus y is less than or equal to 8. Now that is the region, let me just not go into the, that is the region which is below this line. Okay, and if you if you want to make sure you know you're not sure which 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 is the correct region that you've got to um, you know think about, you can choose a point. For example, let's choose the origin. Origin is always a good point to choose as long as it's not on the line. If it's on the line, then it makes it, of course it will make both sides equal. So in this case, the origin is not on the line. So if we put zero instead of x and y, okay, you're going to have zero on this side is less than or equal to eight, which is true. So the the origin is in the side which causes the inequality to be true. So the whole of this side of the line is the region required. What's below the line, 2x plus y is less than or equal to 8. It's below the line. Okay, so therefore you have to shade what's above it because we're leaving the required region unshaded. So I'm going to shade what's above the line. Okay, and by the way, in the exam, always make sure that this shading that you do is done with a pencil. Because if you mess up, you know, it's going to be a big problem for you. So we can see that the only region that is left unshaded is this region over here, which I'm going to label it as R. Well, in fact, we don't have to label it. It doesn't tell us to label it, in fact. It says, find, ah, find the region R. Okay, yes. So I'm going to call the region R, just to make it clear that that's the region R. That's the region that's left unshaded after we had, you know, gone through all of this. Okay, so this, this is how you, you know, deal with such a question, right? That's how you deal with such a question with inequalities and regions. We're leaving the required region unshaded. Okay, so that is part A of the question. All right, now, um, as I mentioned, as you can see here, when it says greater than, that normally means above when you've got these slanted lines. When it's less than, it normally means below. But there's cases where it doesn't. For example, 2x minus y, that would be different because the y term has a negative, you know, associated with, with it. So it's always good for you to choose a point and check, as I did. So I choose, chose origin. What does it do to this inequality? Oh, it makes it true. That means the origin is on the side of that line, which satisfies the inequality. So I have to shade the other side, leave this side unshaded, unshaded, unshaded and so on. Okay, so that's what we have to be careful about here. Now, for part B, it says, find the largest value of x plus y in the region R. So now, um, basically, the region R is this unshaded region here. Okay, so it says, find the largest value of x plus y in the region R. Now, the largest value of x plus y is going to be the value 
that is in the region, if you take the x coordinate of that point and the y coordinate of the point in the region, it's going to give you the biggest possible value for that region there. Now, the maximum and minimum values of any expression with points taken from a region will always be on the corners. Always be on the corners. So I'm going to look at, well, I know this is the least. For sure, this is the least. All right, so this is going to be the minimum. So we don't even have to test that. We can see, of course, it's going to be less than that and less than that because both X and Y values are small. But there's one point over here, which is a point two, four. That's in the region because it's included because the line are solid. And there's also a point over here. Okay, so this point here is maybe slightly different, difficult to read. It looks like it's 2.5. Let's have a look. 2.5. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's two point, let's say two point six. And that's, again, it has to be two point six as well. Okay, they have to be the same. Okay. Maybe I haven't uh, drawn it that accurately. Maybe it's supposed to be two point five, but th those are the two points. They must be the same, of course, because they're both along one y equals x. But it looks like, let me just draw a line from where they intersect down. Point two, four, six. Yeah, okay. So let's say 2.6, 2.6. Okay, that's 2.6 and 2.6. Now, if I add these two together, okay, x plus y, if I, if I test the point um, 2, 4, Okay, I'm going to have 2 plus 4 equals 6. So x plus y equals 6, right? So, and if I test the point 2.6 and 2.6, I have x plus y equals 2.6 plus 2.6, which is going to be um, 5.2. All right, so we can see that that's a bigger value. So the largest value of x plus y in the region is 6 x plus y equals 6. So there's the answer to part B. Okay, so that completes this question, which is all about inequalities and regions, and it kind of goes into a bit what's called linear programming, which is, um, there's some questions normally in paper 4, which normally are a bit more detailed than this for this topic. But this is the first part, it's all about, linear, about inequalities and regions. Um, so that concludes this question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from this topic of linear, um, well, of inequalities and regions, I'll put in the playlist over here. And in this playlist, I'll put questions dealing with linear programming. Um, you can watch the video over here that will um, teach you how to use my channel to find what you need quickly for IGCSE work. Um, I hope that was clear. Thank you for watching and see you soon.